Hold on, yeah. I just want to say one thing, bro. <laughs> we need to stop acting like people are good just because they might get an award or get a lot of plays or get a Grammy or, you know what I'm saying? I've seen people with better music than people who win Grammys and they get 50 views. And what I'm here to tell you is The way somebody becomes famous is either two things. The way their song might blow up or their account might blow up is two things. It's not because they're so good and talented. No. It's because either the devil exalts you and God allows the devil to exalt you or it's because God exalts you. The devil's like, hmm, he has face tats, he's going to rap about money, sex, and drugs, he's going to live a criminal lifestyle, and he's going to push the agenda we're trying to push. Let's make him the number one artist in the world right now. Or he's like, you know, I kind of like this, how he, how he, um, he ain't got no face tats, he ain't got all these tattoos, he seems, he, he's good at facading like he's not that evil of a person. But really, his music is detrimental to society. So let's exalt him. Or the devil's like, hmm. Okay, so she makes music about 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 sex and 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 and, and the pride of life, um, and she's gonna dress like she's a stripper when she performs, and uh, she's gonna encourage women to to degrade themselves, and and, and to try to not uh, depend. Uh, on God and depend on and think that they're just gonna right. Let's exalt her. Oh, you know that he makes music about girls and uh, uh, um, uh, and, and and falling in love, getting his heart broken, and and emphasize and, and, and encourages fornication. But while facading as like, oh he, oh he misses her. Yeah, baby, I just want you back, right? I loved when I was hitting it from the back. He gonna he gonna encourage everybody to fornicate. He gonna he gonna right. Let's exalt him so that people fall into pornography addict, uh, fornication addiction, uh, cheating on their wife, uh, sex addiction. Oh oh he he's gonna make music videos with naked men and, and, and openly be be homosexual and encourage people to be homosexual. Let's exalt him. You, do you get do you get what's going on? And then on the on the side, that's the the, the good side. God's like, well, <laughs> um, he's gonna help people attain salvation. And he's gonna and he's gonna stay faithful to me. Let's exalt him. God's like, okay, I'm looking at I'm looking at his heart and it seems like he's legit and he's gonna make music for me and he's gonna uh try hard and not and, right, let's make music for him. God God uses people. And you know it's deep, the devil also can use people who make Christian music. Cause 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 they're they might not be legit, but the devil's like, hmm, so he's gonna be a Christian artist, but he's gonna be super lukewarm. And be, and be talking about the wrong things sometimes in his music, but just just enough to where it, it, people don't really realize, right? Let's exalt him. And sometimes I see people who just idolize, like people who have a lot of not idolize, but but people who just get like. Wow, they have Grammys. Wow, they 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 have double awards. Wow, they have a hundred million followers. Wow, they're so they're such good artists. Y'all need bro, this needs to stop. No, 
That does not make them a good artist. You know how many people make good music in the world? Millions, literally. You can just go to the local church and there'll be somebody who can sing better than a person you probably listening to on the radio. You won't be fake or what? I've seen it with my own eyes time after time after time. People way more talented and they ain't got no big old career. Why? Because to get to that level, it has to be something supernatural. Either the devil got to exalt your career. You ever, you ever see how these people blow up? It's like lucky. It seems like it's lucky, but it's not lucky because if you think of the world spiritually, which is what it is, you realize, oh, he, the devil is exalting this dude because he's going to encourage people to be in the streets and, 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 and encourage people to, to develop drug addiction. Is his music really better than somebody else's? No, it's just the devil's like, huh. So he's going to develop drug addiction and then he's probably going to OD. Let's let's exalt his career so that when he when he makes everybody think drugs are cool, then his, he's, he's going to die and then his music's going to even blow up even more and people are going to start idolizing him. Let's blow him up. You're going to see God blow me up. Why? Because I'm legit. And God's going to use me. It's not, it, I, I'm here to tell you, this wasn't me and my own strength. The reason why I'm, right? Well, why I'm getting more, right? I posted a song yesterday, got a thousand views in less than 24 hours, right? It's, it's happening, right? Listen, I'm here to tell you, the way my stuff is getting exalted, and the way I'm using the YouTube algorithm and gaining more subscribers and followers, even though I'm doing something that it's very, very hard to get uh, um, popularity from, which is making Christian music, right? The reason why I can is because God has given me formulas, ideas, supernatural ways to do this stuff. I didn't know that that putting AD audio slowed and reverb in the title was going to make hundreds of people click on my music. But guess what? God just showed me, hey, do it. Who would even think to do that? Who would even think to AD audio slow and reverb all their songs? bro? Maybe somebody else might do that to your music, but you're not going. Most artists ain't going to do that to their own music. The only reason why I got that idea is because of God. So stop looking at these people with Grammys, 100 million followers, number one albums, and start and, st and, and thinking, no, they're so good, they're so talented. No. Like, yeah, they might make good music like a lot of other people do, but at the end of the day, this is spiritual, spiritual warfare, bro. Look at the people who are famous who make secular music, and look at the people who are famous who make Christian music. And that would speak for itself, bro. It's all agendas, bro. And God's going to use me to expose most of the devil's agendas. Not all of them. Because I ain't Jesus, right? But I think a lot of them are going to be getting exposed, right? Just like this. This is something people need to realize. I grew up, my older brother. I watched him make music better than most of the people who win in Grammys, bro. I watched him. And I watched him not get more than 500 views on any song he ever posts. I think maybe one song got like a thousand on SoundCloud. That was it. I watched him. And, I, and the music wasn't about Jesus, but the quality, right? For a secular song, I was like, this is, right? Better than these people winning Grammys, he should blow up. Why? Because I was still thinking that the, 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 the way, how good your music is, is, is how, right, it's going to blow it up. And I started realizing over time, oh, wow. And then, you know, it's deeper. I seen people who made worse music than him, way worse. They was blowing up. Music was trash. But you know it's deep. The hype makes you think it's better than it is. And I've experienced that with my own eyes. 
I, I, I make a song. I'm like, this is so good. I first post it, it gets zero views. Then I post it again, it gets a thousand views. Now, even in my own head, I'm like, oh, wow, maybe I was asleep on this song. Because you're, we're looking at man approve. We're looking at what other people think about something. That's what it really comes down to. We're looking at what other people think about something to determine what we think about it. That's why so many people like Drake. Because when you look at his stats, oh, he got all of these views. He got all these followers. He got all these grams. He got all these awards. He got all these number ones. You look at everybody else like, Yo, y'all, y'all seem to love this dude, so I'm just to love this dude too. And what's, and what's sad is, Christian artists, a lot of Christian artists don't even realize this. And that's, that's scary, bro. Because if you really start thinking that these people who get number one, grand are are good, and it's not just the devil using them to negatively affect society. You're going to start trying. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. That Lil Pump. is probably not better. Than your local artist that goes to your school, bro. There's probably a dude at your high school who make better music than Lil Pump. But why did Lil Pump get exalted? None against Lil Pump. He can't control whether he get exalted or not, right? He can just put out the music and see what happens, right? But why did Lil Pump blow up? Millions of followers, millions of views, man. You got a devil like... This dude going to be somebody who's going to be good for pushing this negative agenda. You get it? Blueface, we we getting deep, right? Blueface is probably not better than the local dude who made music at your high school, right? Who got 100 followers on his SoundCloud, right? His music probably not better than the dude who got 100 followers on SoundCloud that go to your high school, right? But why did Blueface blow up? <laughs> oh, it's because the devil's using these people. It's not about the music, bro. No, it's not about the... Like, yeah, the devil wants them to make music that that will also negatively affect people, but it's not about how good the music is. The devil's like, okay, he makes music that's about bad stuff? Cool. Now, let's see if if, if we can... Like, right? Who devil's like, who am I going to use? You got to think of it like a basketball team. The devil's like, who am I going to use, right? Who's going to be the main star who, who got the ball the most? Because it's all battle, bro. He's like, who going to be the rape? Who going to be the other dude starting on the team? Who going to be the dudes who still made the team but on the bench? Who going to be right? Because what's the devil, right? Just like how a basketball team trying to win the game, the devil's trying, right? Win your soul, bro. And I'm not saying you should be scared. Because guess what? God got his team, too. And like I said, that's why I do not be surprised. If I become the biggest Christian artist, why? Because God knows my heart. But God has, I'm not going to say he knows, like he knows my heart, but I'm saying he's the one who made me this way. God knows the way I am, and he knows that I'm not, that I'm going to be sitting on here, whether I got 2 million followers, 5 million followers, 10 million, or 5 followers. I'm going to be sitting on here speaking the truth because I don't care about what y'all think, bro. And I will never. I try to battle that, right? I'm not saying I'm perfect with it, but I try to battle that, right? Jesus knows that I will I will win a Grammy, right? I'm hypothetically, right? It, it, let's say I win a Grammy. Jesus knows that I will go on there with the trophy in my hand, knowing in my head that if I say what I'm about to say on the microphone, I'm probably not going to ever get invited back here. But I'm going to get on there and say, hey, 
Thank you for the award. But to be honest, I wish this whole thing was shut down, bro. Because the concept that we give one trophy to somebody and say, hey, you're better than everybody else, is just jacked up. Yeah, they probably they probably stop nominating me. Stop tr start trying to act like my music's not good enough. Oh, he just wasn't good enough to get nominated. Why? Because like I said, the first time I, if I win a Grammy, I'm going on a podium and I'm exposing the Grammys. I'm exposing the Dove Awards. I'm exposing the K Love Awards. I'm exposing all this stuff. I'm exposing Billboard. I'm exposing these people who who I, I, I'm gonna show people. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm tell people right whether you want to believe it or not. But I'm gonna tell people, hey. Your favorite artist is not as good as you think. The local artist at your school or at your church probably make better music than him, right? The devil just using this dude to, to right? Because he's trying to jack up the world with this dude, right? And like I said, they don't always have to be people who are just super duper, seem like outwardly, super obviously, super duper evil. Sometimes he'll... Put somebody on 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 that thing like Drake. I, I'm name dropping because y'all need to understand. Somebody who makes he put somebody like Drake as a normal artist. A lot of people be like Drake music is not that bad. That's exactly how the devil wants you, right? Thinking oh it's not that bad. But what is this dude doing in his music? Glorifying money, sex, and drugs. What is this dude doing in his music? Glorifying murder, making uh, making albums with um. Right? Making songs with people who are murderers. Making knife talk this. Did did that. We gonna kill him. We gonna... He's not that bad. Why? Because y'all hear him make a song talking about, I ain't one dance. But even in that song, one day, he talking about he got the Hennessy in his hand. He said, he just slip it in there and get the Hennessy in my hand. And then you look up, bumming Drake every day, and you wonder why you developing drug addiction, you, you, you developing sex addiction, and you developing, right? Narcissism, bro. Because you flooding your head with people who living like this and pushing this agenda every day, bro. People who knew me, I used to make secular music, bro. And the devil easily could have you right? Because I was talented. The devil easily could have got me to... Got me to the... um. Got me to a studio, ha had me make so, a, a good album and exalted my career, bro. You know why he didn't use me? Because God didn't allow him to, bro. Montel Jordan talks about how God had a leash on him, bro. Montel Jordan's music probably was better than people... Who, who who were getting more views and awards than him at the time. And guess what? There was probably a dude at your local high school who made better music than Montel Jordan, bro. Sometimes God will allow you, if you was a child, he'll allow you to go deep in the music industry so he can pull you out and use you for his glory. Or he'll do what he did to me, which is never let you even get in that joint and have you just go straight to the Christian route, right? Anyway, it happens. It's either two sources, bro. Devil or God. Y'all ever wonder why I, I make Christian remixes, bro? Of secular songs? Because first, I'm trying to body the people off the. I'm, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to show y'all I can take every single one of these songs that y'all thought was so good, and I can do all of them, and make them all better than they was before, or at least close. All right, if I if I make a thousand remixes of your favorite songs, bro, hopefully that'll make you start realizing maybe it was just the beat that was carrying these people. <laughs> maybe it was just the beat. Maybe. These dudes not as good as we think we is because this dude just made a thousand songs in nine months. And a lot of them is, I think all of them cold, but, right? You probably, right, would think some of them, I don't know how many, maybe you think all of them cold. But you probably, probably going to be looking at them dudes like, oh, God's going to use me to expose all these dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah, bro. 
And you know what's even deeper? A lot of these songs, I used a broken microphone and broken headphones with 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 with, with um unprofessional software. Some of these songs, I, I that's what I recorded with, right? So the fact that I'm blo- I, I'll, I'm blowing up, and I ain't got no big studio, no no, no big producer. I, I, a lot of these songs, I even have correct headphones or microphones, bro. It's gonna expose them. It's gonna realize, oh shoot. We were getting deceived, because y'all was, bro. Y'all getting deceived, bro. Y'all getting deceived, bro. Y'all getting deceived, bro. Mm-hmm. So I'm here to tell you, if you make music and you're not blowing up, or if you make music and you are blowing up, if you're to to the person who's not blowing up, I want you to know it's because God's not allowing you to blow up for whatever reason. Now that mean maybe that I'm not saying that that means you'll never blow up. But if you believe in Jesus and you make secular music because you think that's gonna be the thing that gets me, you know how many people I've heard. Who say I'm Christian but make secular music and think it's okay? Cause it's gonna reach more people. Reach them for what? Why do you? you so you're doing this for money? Or what? That's what. That's that's literally what. You, that's what you're implying, right? I just don't think I'm gonna have a big audience. That that's what like that, that you ever wonder why there's not a lot of Christian artists? Because people don't want to do it because they don't think they're gonna get money, bro. They don't they don't think they can ever get as big as Drake if they make Christian music. So what are they doing? They said, okay, we're not gonna worship God on the song. We're just gonna talk about stuff that people want to hear for money. And what's that? Jacked up, that's what it is. And she's gonna be looking at you like, okay. And what's and was and what's deep is <laughs> they gonna think they doing the right thing, and they gonna think that they like, yeah, we're going to right? And then God just gonna make them sit there and be like, Wow, this really didn't solve nothing. No, it doesn't solve anything. For all the people who think that if you're a Christian artist, you can't have success, or it's gonna be way too hard, or I'm gonna do secular music, then I'm gonna switch to Christian music. Hey. God gonna use me to expose all them people. Mm-hmm. Cause to be honest, this new album, this, this, this super album that I've just made with the power of Jesus, it's probably going to be listened to by most of the world. And 90% of people probably not going to like it. Or maybe. I don't know what the number's going to be. But I'm expecting a lot of hate because it's about Jesus. But I'm still going to be getting them views. And guess what? They're probably going to blackball me. And then I'm never going to get as many views again. That's probably what's going to happen. Just like, just like with Lecrae and, and, and Anomaly. He gets a number one album. People realize, oh, he's a Christian rapper, and they blackball him. But guess what? Jesus still going right. Still going to use your music. That's why he got two Grammys this year, right? Jesus still going to bless you. You don't need no trophy, anyways. Whether you get a Grammy, you don't need no trophy, bro. That's my whole point. Start looking at these people for who they are. And what's deep is if that same person who you idolize probably, you might not think you do, but you probably do. That same person who you probably idolize because they have a lot of Grammys and followers and views and likes on their songs. If they didn't have no likes, followers and views on their songs, but still made the same music. 
Boy, you would pass by them like it didn't exist. So it ain't about the music. It's about the love of money. That's what all this comes down to, bro. Little people love money. That's why they listen to your that's why they listen to your stuff after when you start right, you know, hey, you know how many people who know I make music don't listen to my music? And then guess what? When my stuff when they realize I'm blowing up, they're gonna start listening. Cause it's the love of money. I'm not saying all them people love money, but it attracts people. Why? Because people will fall, fall and need help, bro. Why you want to listen now when I'm blowing up? What it, what does it really stem to? Money. Oh, he's going to make money. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, there's a lot of people listening. Let's see what's going on over here. Like, bro, don't listen. Keep the same energy. Don't listen. When I got a million subscribers, don't listen. When I got a number one album, don't listen, bro. And don't be hitting me up talking about congratulations. Don't be hitting me up talking about I love your album. Don't be hitting me up talking about gay band. I just... Boy, you been know I made music. You better just sit there and repent. Or sit there and tell God you're sorry. For listening to Drake, Tony Savage, Future, and all these other people, and said, listen to the dude who he said was your friend who made music by Jesus. It exposes your heart, bro. It does. It does. It exposes your heart, bro. What are you looking for? Are you looking for stuff that glorify God? Or are you looking for how many views some God? What does that say about you? Now look, you can, you can, this could be you. And you can still be a Christian. And just maybe this video was for you to realize, hey, maybe I shouldn't just, right, be mesmerized by views and likes and followers. Because you really believe in God. Then, you, then you'd understand. This is bigger than what you think, bro. If Drake made Christian music, all them people who love Jake probably be the same dudes hating on him, making fun of him. The local dude at your high school who makes secular music, whose music is probably close to as good as Drake's, probably better. Because what y'all also got to realize is, do you know how much quality has to do with it? Of course, if you give somebody $100 million, the quality is going to sound good. So it's not about how talented people are, bro. You go to the local church, I'm telling you, you go to your local church, bro. Go to the worship team, pull the dudes, the main dude who be singing, and give him a fancy studio and fancy producers, and he will make the number one album. I'm telling you. If it's based off of how good the album is, right? But no. The devil has his children. God has his children. It might sound crazy to you. If it does, then you probably the devil's child, right? Or you God's child, and you need to start waking up. Yeah, I remix Drake's song. I got 180 Drake remixes, I'm pretty sure. You know why? Because I'm sick of people thinking he's such a good artist, bro. I, he used to be my favorite. Drake. And then I started thinking, why was he my favorite? Oh, it's because I was a hype beast. And a hype beast means anything that's popular and trending, you just, right, you just love it. Because you, what you love is the trending aspect of it. You don't really love what it is. And that, like I said, that stems down to the love of money, bro. You know how many people 
who work at the church, who say, I get it. Say, I love Jesus. Jesus for everything. I look at your playlist, and all I see is you support people who work for the devil, bro. But you don't, you don't even stop. Bro, I try to, bro, I be talking to people, and they don't even know who Ann Wilson is, bro. I'm like, well, you work at the church, and you're Caucasian. And you don't, so what do you, if you ain't listening to Ann Wilson, who are you listening to? And lo and behold, it was Drake. It was, <laughs> it was other country artists that didn't even, right, wasn't even talking about Jesus. What? That's just kind of disrespectful to the kingdom, bro. Like, you might as well just, just stop for salt and that crazy days. And maybe you are Christian for real, and your playlist just... Because I know it's going to convict people, and it's going to rub people the wrong way. You're going to be hating in the comments. I don't check comments, so hate all you want. Make a hate video. I ain't going to look at it. I ain't going to look at it because I ain't looking for what y'all think about my, my stuff. No. I'm going to just be an obedient, bro. I couldn't care less what you say, right? Because I understand some people just not going to get it, bro. And some people, when they get exposed, all they're going to do is try to frame you as evil, lie about you, tear down your reputation so that people don't listen to you. It's all over the Bible. You look at Stephen, when Stephen was preaching in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7. You look at what they did to Jesus. You look at what they did to Paul, Peter, the, the, the Apostles. It's all the same theme. Y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all get exposed. Actually, you don't know you're wrong. Because if you knew you was wrong, you'd, you'd stop. But, but, but you think you're right. You get exposed. Then you just, right, do more evil stuff. I just hope some people listen to what I'm saying, bro, and accept it. Remember, like I said before, remember, what do I really gain from making this video? The only thing I gain is God uh, um, saying, good job, man. Thank you for being obedient. That's it. And maybe maybe some more blessings. But other than that, I ain't, I ain't gonna look cool to the world for making this video. I ain't gonna get a million dollars probably for making this video. I ain't gonna, right? I ain't gonna have people clapping for me. I ain't gonna have, right? So this is just genuine out of love and obedience, bro. Please start looking at the music industry for what it is, bro. Puppets. Yeah. People who the devil exalt to push his agenda and he use it and the people who are the most popular are the people the devil's like these are the people who I think gonna jack your heads up the most if you follow what they do so let's put them on as number one right and like I said the way he gets y'all is by is by is by making making them seem like oh it's not that bad it's just Jake it's just Beyonce it's just Taylor Swift them to be them to be will be to jack y'all up the most I'm telling you, them people be telling y'all out of the most. Okay, they ain't got face tats and they ain't killing people. We think, right? I don't know about that boy. Uh, I ain't gonna even say his name, right? Y'all seen what? Y'all seen? Y'all heard about Triple X? That's the only time I shoot below the neck. I don't know, right? But right, we don't think they killing people, right? We don't think they got face tats with. But, oh, if you seen what was really going on in their hearts and behind closed doors, because God sees it, a lot of y'all would be like, if you really understood, see, and, and I've been trying to get better at, um, and like I said, if you Drake, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, this is not to make you upset, This is because I really want y'all to repent so y'all don't burn hell for eternity, bro. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You're going to burn to hell if you don't believe in Jesus. Oh, come on, stone me, kill me. Whip me with a whip, hang me on a cross for saying it. Cool. But if I was on here talking about, hey, you should you should change your gender because you can choose what gender you are and you should be you should be homeless and you should uh, fornicate and you should do drugs, money, sex, 
oh, then everybody will be saying, oh, they okay, uh, being okay with it. Oh, yeah, he's just speaking his truth. Well, yeah, I'm speaking my truth. I know you're going to hate it. Why? Because the Bible says you're going to hate it, and the Bible never lies. That's why y'all hate me, right? <laughs> if the world hates you, then know they hated you first. And they're going to lie and act like, no, it's not because he's talking about Jesus, because he... <laughs> no, it's because I'm talking about Jesus, bro. Duh. And like I said, them people might not have face tags, might not be killing people, might not... But they be the ones that be jacking y'all up the most, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, I, w I wouldn't even say jacking y'all up the most. I'm just saying, right? Them people that the devil be using the most. Because a lot of people... Because what y'all gotta remember is the devil is not... He doesn't want you to know he's deceiving you, bro. So somebody who, who got face tests and, and got a criminal record of killing people, uh, probably people are going to be like, oh, man, this dude doesn't seem like somebody that's good to listen to. It. But somebody who's just like, right? Kind of like, you don't really, right? He's like, yeah, you don't see that bad. <laughs> that's how, right? The devil, like, we're going to use this dude big time. The people who y'all think, it's just Beyonce. All right. You realize Beyonce could sing about Jesus, right? She grew up in a church, bro. But she said, no, I want to get the most money I can. Hey, trust me. You know what's deep? If singing about Jesus gave you the most money, you know how all these people be talking about singing about Jesus all of a sudden, bro. Trust me. That's deep. And it's true. If singing about Jesus gave you the most money and gave you the most views, all these people y'all see who be rapping about money, sex, and drugs will be start will start singing about Jesus, bro. But see, you see how God purposely makes the world a certain way, bro. Because He wants y'all to get away from the love of money and stop looking for the things of this world to fulfill you. Bro. And stop trivializing, bro. Stop trivializing sin, which is the whole concept. Stop trivializing sin, bro. Trivialize means to belittle. Stop being like, it's just Jake. The dude is talking about killing and shooting people. And stabbing people with a knife. Knife tuck. Featuring two and savage. It's just it's Jake. All these people are listed. Look at what they talk about. It never has nothing to do with glorifying God. It's always doing the opposite. Fornication. Oh yeah, we let the we let the liquor talk last night. Oh, he broke my heart. He he hit it so good. Uh, uh, girls run the world. Who run the world? <laughs> <laughs> Not girls, no. Jesus run the world. Shoot. And the devil running y'all. Because he in control of y'all, right? Control of the world, right? Now, hopefully the devil ain't got control of y'all. But the devil getting in y'all heads. Y'all keep, yeah, y'all keep. You got to think of it like you're literally listening to somebody who's speaking for the devil, bro. That's what you got to listen to it at. That, that's what you got to really think of it as, bro. God has his artists. Devil has his artists. You literally, throughout the week, listen to somebody who's telling you what the devil wants you to, wants you to hear. Bro. Most people think of the devil, or, or the movies, the movies and stuff depict the devil as the devil horns and the and the red beast beast body and the looking like beast boy or something. No. He ain't gonna come to you like that. You know who he gonna come to you with? Beyonce's new single. And he gonna speak to you through that joint. You ain't even seen him, right? You see Beyonce, you see the pretty Baker, you see the you see the, the big butt and the big boob, you see the the, the, the cleavage showing, you see you see the glitter and the and the, and the and the nice clothes, and you see all the followers, and you see all the man approval. And guess what? Now you listen to a song, thinking it's yeah, Beyonce. Listen to exactly what the devil wants you to hear, right? 
This is what the devil is trying to tell you. And not only do you listen to it, you got that joint in your playlist on repeat. And then not only do you got the, that joint on your playlist on repeat, you got all the devil's artists on repeat. Every single thing the devil wants you. Boy, you got a little punk, you got Drake, you got Tony Savage, you got Beyonce, you got Selena Gomez, you got Taylor Swift, you got right, you got Morgan Wallace, you got all the people, little Dirk, Future, you got the whole dang devil team speaking in your head every day. No wonder you can't stop watching porn. No wonder you can't stop fornicating. No, no wonder you living in sin. You can't stop. You know there's a way to shut that out. You know what it is? Be like, you know what? I'm not going to listen to people who work for the enemy. And I ain't trying to just say, oh, that, just, just be like anti Beyonce, anti Drake, anti secular music video. But it's like you got to look at it for what it is, bro. Now, they can repent and come to Jesus like anybody else. But right now, they're not the people you need to be listening to, bro. Now, if you at the gym and they playing, yeah, you can't break my soul. Everybody, you can't break my soul. Now, now some people might be like, that's a Christian song. Maybe, but if, if, if the next week you drop something about getting drunk or, 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 or doing some fornication or doing some crazy stuff, or doing stuff that ain't got nothing to do with Jesus, and you consistently, right? And like I said, that's a whole nother video, right? Listen, I ain't saying Beyonce ain't Christian. Maybe, but her fruits don't really show she is, bro. God know better than me. That boy Drake said he Jewish, yeah, he ain't right? Taylor Swift, they say these people fruits. If you Christian, and you, if you, in my opinion, if you Christian for real, right? You think you're going to be making music that ain't about Jesus, bro? Like, something to do with Jesus? Like, something. Like, at least saying this song, I'm praying. And I woke up and prayed. And Cause what is God you? Why wouldn't God use you in your workspace if you really is child, bro? If, you, if, if, if God allows you to get 100 million followers... You think he's not going to try to use that? You seen Judge the Bible, right? That's somebody who's showing fruit. He going to get on the stage with Chandler Moore. He going to get on the, on the, on the, right? On the Christian track. It's making right sing about, oh, how he loves us. And guess what? Guess what? He probably lost a lot of friends, lost a lot of followers, lost a lot of support. And that itself shows how the world, when you do the wrong thing, is going to clap for you. Just like I said before, when you do the wrong thing, they say, yeah, keep going. When you do the right thing, they abandon you, they frame you as evil, and they try to tear your name down and your reputation, bro. Let's look. Come on, bro. We got time, bro. I I've tried to not make videos about name-dropping people. But this is for the glory of God, bro. Because these are the people that y'all insist on listening to. Because it's not that bad. But we still going to go to church on Sunday. But our playlist is full of Drake, 21 Savage, Taylor Swift, Beyonce. Yo, wait, you don't want to worship Jesus with your music? The music's not bad. The music's better than than the crazy better than Drake. Yes, this is somebody who knows every Drake song, every single rate. And you know why he's better than Drake? Because of what he talks about that itself. I don't care if you was rapping out of a string and a can, bro. If you rapping about Jesus, you automatically better than Thomas Savage, bro. Because we can't even. I can't even listen to what you're talking about, right? You just you just get eliminated from the rate. And guess what? I used to listen to what they do talked about every day. And I looked up, I was a rehab, I was a sex addict, porn addict, fornication addict, mentally insane, mental issues. 
Let's look. What's Drake's number one song? Probably God's Plan. Okay. One Dance. Okay. What is Drake's biggest? Yeah, it's God's Plan. That's what I said. It's probably God's Plan. You see how they, you see how the devil gets you? God's Plan. That number one song. Drake's not that bad. You may talk about God. Let's look at the lyrics, right? You see, I told y'all. Because what the devil wants you to do is not realize he's just trying to deceive you, bro. So what's he going to do? Had a number one rapper make a song called Gas Man. Gas Man. It's not Gas Man, it's Jay. Look at my baby. It's Jay. Why? Because you look like a fool following these people who are getting fooled by the devil. Y'all ain't trying to get that deep. Listen. Let's look. I Christian remix this song. I had to. And they wish and they wish and they wish it on me. He talking about his ops, right? I've been moving. Look, let's look at these lyrics, right? I've been moving calm. Don't start no trouble with me. <laughs> now, you got to remember, this the same dude who be saying, who made this song. I gotta feed the streets, my bitch is gonna bleed the streets, ski mask on my face, you sometimes you gotta cheat. Stay to stay ahead in this. But you but you work at the church, right? This the dude who on your you work at the church though, right? When I'm talk when I talk to you, you, you look at me and say, he doesn't miss. <laughs> These people work at the church, right? He just, he just means it's so good. It seems like the devil got you right where he wants you, right? Drink syrup like it's a liquor. Boy, you can die doing that. I used to drink, yeah. Me. Yeah. Ain't nothing. You don't want to go down that road, bro. You see how the devil you? I mean, you see how God using me? Oh, I've been there, bro. I was in rehab. I've been on the syrup. Been on the pills. Probably did more drugs than the dude has ever done, right? And I can tell you, this ain't good to be listening to. You want to look like me? About to die in rehab, right? This is the same dude who made this song, too. Y'all probably know the lyrics of this one. Look at the lyrics, bro. Why are you saying the N-word, bro? Why are you saying the N-word, bro? I hate a... Hey, I used to say the N-word. I used to say the N -word. I used to say it every sentence. I thought I was so cool. I thought I was so funny, right? Until I repented and I realized that this happened. Then it ain't so funny to say the N-word no more, right? Right? Then it ain't so funny to say the N-word no more, right? Huh? Then it ain't so funny to say the N-word no more, bro. But guess what? It went number one. It's just Jake. He doesn't miss. He a, Jake, no. Now he's a dead driver. Jake was a kid, Jake. He's a dead driver. You said what in your song? Did he on your playlist though? He's on your playlist most likely, right? 
It's all fun and cool to talk about knife tuck, mob ties. Woo 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 woo. We gon' woo until this dude come to your doorstep, right? And he take your sister and rape her and kill her, right? Then it ain't so funny to talk about mob ties, knife tuck. We gon' kill him. We gon' right? Can this dude can really tell you about how he gon' kill him, right? This dude who you listening to, bro. This is the dude you listening to. The dude who's making it cool to do what this dude does, bro. Kill people. He probably, hey, he probably would have listened. He probably, hey, that probably would have been one of this dude's favorite songs, right? Knife Tuck. Hey, that probably would be where he's famous to. He probably would have seen that on the Billboard 100. Yeah, these songs made Billboard 100. Which means a lot of the world getting deceived. He probably would have seen this on the Billboard 100 if he lived in 2024, right? And he would have been like, shoot, I like this song. This shit ain't something I like. Knife Tuck. Look at him. Knife Tuck. Why is it cool to be a criminal? I used to be a criminal, bro. For real. I think, geez, I never got into really killing people. And, and it was by God's grace I didn't get that deep, right? But drugs, violence... Sex addiction? I was going down this road for sure. If I would have kept going. Because that's what happens. You don't, hey, you don't think this dude is killing people, bro? You don't think this dude is... Look, this, this, this dude has definitely killed people, bro. Yes! Yes, bro. Yes, he has, bro. But he, he never misses. He's Jake. You know why? He's, because we got this much money, this much power. And you got that much money to be able to cover it up. Shoot, Bill Clinton was killing people. They were president. Yes, bro. You listening to murderers. You listening to prostitutes. You listening to promiscuous women. You listening. And I don't like to say, come try to kill me. Come take me out. Come take down my YouTube. I don't care. You finna send me straight. You finna send me straight to heaven, bro. I won't be here. If God wants me to be here, I'll be here. But other than that, I ain't psyched to be here, right? Let's keep looking at what we was originally looking at, right? I remember when we were gone. Don't start no trouble with me. Don't start no trouble with me. Like I said, same dude who made this song, right? Same dude who made this song, right? So what do you mean, don't start no trouble with me? What do you mean? It don't seem like he's trying to facade as this peaceful, nah, I wouldn't kill nobody type of dude. They don't look like that. But he got the man. He's just so good. His music is so good, I can't just listen to it. You think he better than, you think the crazy ain't better than Drake? Drake, Drake has too many hits. Hits? Yeah. He got so many hits. Probably different type of hit, right? But you Christian, and you work at the church, right? I say it at the church. But didn't you play this? You see how they put God in their songs, bro? Have you catching up to God quicker? They might, they try to mock God, bro. Because if you really believed in God, you'd really stop this stuff, for sure.
Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I don't even want I don't even want to read these lyrics because I don't even want my brain to be filled with this. But I'm doing it for the video, right? You don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle. You y'all know the lyrics. If I play the song, y'all be singing it. And then go to the church the next day, right? I believe it is. Seems like you're confused. Seems like you don't get it. Why don't, you, why don't you know the new Lecrae song? What's the difference between that and this? Oh, he's talking about Jesus. He's not talking about fornication. Because you know what's going to happen if somebody pull up at 6 a.m. to cut it with you and you don't believe in Jesus. He ain't talking about his homie, right? And don't, and, don't, and don't get it twisted. These dudes be doing that stuff too. Yeah, with their homies. Shit, cut it with their homies. Yeah. Old Town Road, right? It ain't funny, right? These dudes be doing that too. So we don't know who you're talking about. But we know it ain't nothing, uh, ain't nothing godly going on, right? I don't care if, if if whoever see this CD, they want to kill me. Come do it if Jesus lets you. And guess what? I'm gonna be going straight to heaven. I ain't scared of you. I catch this. Got the cross chain around your. How you got the cross chain around your neck? Listening to, to to the dude talking about. Everything the devil wants you to hear. You know how I like it when you loving on me. He ain't married, bro. He ain't never been married. Y'all know what he talking about. Stop saying I against it and supporting these people. How dare you? Jay-Z so good. Oh, really? Or maybe you're just so bad and confused and deceived. <laughs> they gonna tell the story. <laughs> What's different with me? You see that right there? They gonna tell the story. What's different with me? He does the miss, he's my favorite artist. Oh yeah, Jay though, he knew I was slack, bro. He's slack. Hey, he does the miss. Oh yeah, I serve at the church. I serve at the church. <laughs> you know who else is laughing? The devil. Devil laughing straight at you because he got you right where he wants you. Look at look at the cover. Scary hours. Oh, it's scary, huh? He does it me. He my favorite artist. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. You okay, bro? You good? Can you read? Do you understand English, bro? And like I said, most people know all the lyrics to this song. So that's three minutes of what the devil wants you to hear. Memorized in your head, bro. And you wonder why your life going downhill, bro. You know why I also make Christian remixes? So that I get the old song out of my head, bro. Because when I hear, when I hear the beat, dun, 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 the guy's playing beat, right? Guess what I think of? My song. Jeremiah 29, 11, I promise for my future. In your pen, I'm from my hope and purpose. Then it was way raised to your love of me. I'm feeling promises, breaking through them chains. Yo, 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 yo. I don't hear this. They gonna tell the story. Oh, 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 oh,
Du bulu be. I ain't, hey, I don't want to look at these lyrics, bro. It ain't even, it ain't even that deep. Y'all get the message, right? It ain't even that deep, bro, for me to be filling my head with this stuff to get the video out. It ain't even that deep, bro. Right? Taylor Swift. She not that bad, eh? She ain't that bad! It just Taylor Swift! It just T Swift! It just T Swift, you? What you be saying? Oh, I thought it was gonna be 22! Yeah, uh 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 uh, right? Because it's ew! Ew. E W. Ew. Now I ain't saying nothing about these people. I'm saying about the stuff they making on the track, right? I ain't even heard this song. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the lyrics. I wait. <laughs> they, you see how they telling you how they going crazy? I wake up screaming from dream. Did you hear my covert narcissism? And you know it's deep spy even write this. They got a whole team of people who write the demonic stuff for y'all listen to, bro. I don't bro. Why they always gotta put God and hell and devil and angel in their music? Cause they know. They've heard the gospel. They just don't believe it. But it is the person you say, I like this trip. She's my favorite artist. Yeah, I work at the church. And I'm serving the women's ministry. She laughing up, she laughing up at it from hell. Yeah, I went to the church. She, she, she just doesn't miss. She's just so good. She's my favorite. Oh, my favorite, my top five probably Drake, Taylor Swift, um, 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 Shane Gomez, uh, 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 <laughs> These ladies don't even make no sense, bro. Daughter in law kill you for money. What? You see what happens when you just don't make music about Jesus? You, see, you just start saying a bunch of weird stuff. Daughter in law killing me for money. I got a dream. And you can scream it for dreaming. She's laughing up at it from hell. <laughs> Y'all trying to be fake, right? Hey, let's look at your favorite, right? Let's look at your favorite. I can't even show that, right? Let's look at your favorite, right? Oh. 
Oh my god, I know this song. Why? Because the devil was trying to drill it in my head. This is probably part of the reason why I de developed sex addiction. Because I was listening to this and looking at this my whole life. You see the cover? I can't even really show that. This probably part of the right. Because I was listening to this when I was nine. And my mama was saying, I love Beyonce. Beyonce ain't that bad. Why am I doing this? Now, I'm going to have to make a hundred more Christian songs to get out my head the stuff I just read from these three people that they'll be using. That and I go kill you get your head. What'd she say? <laughs> Let me stop, bro. Yeah, the, most of the world's going to hate me for this because they, cause they love them some tea swim. I will get the change. And so they going to hate me. Like I said, I'm like, Jesus, I don't know. Look, you don't even got to give me no wife. Because I'm going to be hated so hard that maybe it will be better if I ain't even got no wife. So I can just take all this hate by myself and not have it affect my wife too. 